Hello and welcome to another episode of the Business Plus. Now today we'll be talking to people when you wananzanga biashara, then something happens kidogo kidogo and I give up. Today I have a lady who'll be talking to us. She has been in business for a long time and she has a very very good story. Let's get into it because business is more than meets the eye. Good evening. Good evening. How, you How are you? I'm um, well, thank you. Introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Um my name is Rebecca Wangare mm -hmm. and I have a business based in Nyeri town mm -hmm. on Kimathi Street. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So how did you start your business? When did this business start? Um, this wasn't my first business per se. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I started in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I, I used to, I was based in Nairobi at first mm -hmm. and then um, Nairobi didn't work. I used to do corporate branding okay. back then okay. but um, life happened mm -hmm. and I had to move back to Nyeri. Nyeri is my hometown okay. and uh, so when I came to Nyeri I had to first map mm -hmm. how does Biashara work around mm -hmm. here you know, at first, you know, some of us, some of the city girls, when they come to the Their hometown, you know, already, hometowns, yeah. uh, you already have it going. You have, you know, you're already focused, you know what mm. to do, um, you're organized, and then you just realize this is a totally different scenario. Yeah, true. And you have to calm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to do a bit of mapping. Mm -hmm. At first I wanted to do a clothes shop, mm -hmm. a baby shop. Mm -hmm. uh, that plan just didn't work. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do an electronics shop. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 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 at first I, I, and then I did uh, utensils. I, I, you know, you start small, yeah. small, small. Yeah, yeah. you start haba small. Haba. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so in 2020, mm -hmm. in 2020, that's when I began this. Mm -hmm. But we began. So, so the lights, 2020. In fact, lights were somewhere far off. Okay. It was a, a 20 year plan, five oh. year, you know, something visionary. But uh -huh. as per the moment at that time, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to begin with fast moving products. Mm -hmm. Uh, and looking around Nyeri, mm -hmm. I saw there was a need for utensils. Mm -hmm. yes. So that was 2020? That was in 2020. All right. And then COVID happened. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> almost immediately. Yes. Uh -huh. So COVID happened and there was just a go slow on everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you can imagine like, you know, the renovations. Yeah the capital you've pumped in mm -hmm. and then it's like you know that thing on uh, i don't know what you call it on the yeah. hospital bed in Alalanga. Ah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah but again mm -hmm. we are people of faith yeah yes yeah, so we mm -hmm. we trust god we pray we prophesy over what we yeah, do the works of our hands yeah. and somehow mm -hmm. god God, God has a way of giving you new grace, ideas, uh -huh. new ideas. Uh -huh. You know, how do we move from here? Yeah. There's a lot that you get to learn along the way. Uh -huh. And for me, a big, <laughs> a big lesson has been patience. Uh -huh. Yeah, patience. You need to be patient with yourself, uh -huh. with your growth, uh -huh. your process. Because again, along the journey, uh -huh. you unlearn a lot. Yeah. There's what you learn in school. Uh -huh. Which that yeah, no theory doesn't work at times. <laughs> yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, on ground you get to know you know people are different, mm -hmm. needs are different. Mm -hmm. There's long term, there's short term, mm -hmm. and you have to all you know collect it all together uh -huh. and just make it work for you. What back. are the challenges that you met along your way of business? Because I see you've done so many things. You've told us about the utensils. Mm. You may mention you had a lot of ideas, but some of them didn't just work out. Yes. I'm seeing you also have some books here which you'll tell us about. All right. Yeah, so what are some of the challenges that you've met along the way? Um, especially for a startup, mm -hmm. um, let, let me start from maybe you've just finished uh, college mm. or uh, your education yeah. and uh, 
you you start tarmacking and looking for mm. jobs. These places are not coming through. Yeah. Um, there's a way you've been programmed to think campus, job, job. which are not there. Exactly. Yeah, but now um, we, we also need to get an education system where if that doesn't work, mm. what's the fallback plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, it's 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 not healthy mm. it's not healthy mm -hmm. uh, but uh, how for me mm -hmm. uh, uh, I tarmacked mm -hmm. I, I worked in in a, in a media house for mm -hmm. some time mm -hmm. you studied media oh <laughs> All right. yes okay okay <laughs> surprise uh -huh. yes yes I have a background of communications mm -hmm. Yeah, but totally. <laughs> you tell not us what how I'm you doing. went from communication <laughs> to business, to business, to, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, but that that has been my journey. Mm -hmm. um, it it didn't work, mm -hmm. or or rather, I, again, I think I got into it maybe when there was a lot of oh, what do you call it? Um, in, it was congested. Ah, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, there was that period. It, yeah, there was yes. a season. Yeah. And again, it's good to learn what seasons mm, you're in you are and what you're supposed to do. Yes. So one of the challenges so, you've met me, Tamaki, a lot after you, you have to know things hands on, not yes, the theory. Yes. Uh -huh. And even if you're in school, uh -huh. get yourself, get creative. Mm -hmm get creative you know you can start a small business here a small business there because in engaging and indulging in those biasharas yeah. even if it's mutumba clothes or whatever people do in colleges mm -hmm. or when you're getting higher education mm -hmm. it, it 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 challenges you yeah. it challenges you to be better so that when even when you get out there you might not do the same thing mm -hmm. But you'll have an extra uh, added an extra advantage. income. Yeah. Extra income. Mm -hmm. You'll be challenged to do to do more, more to yeah. do better. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the challenges is that. Another challenge is capital, mm -hmm. and especially if you're just starting out. Mm -hmm. And another another thing. I don't know if it is for all Kenyans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a challenge in savings. Yeah. Yeah. Saving mm -hmm. culture is not mm -hmm. in us. Yeah. So, so you you'll find that um, you know you'll get a loan here, mm -hmm. a loan there, mm -hmm. a there, mm -hmm. then another loan to pay another loan. <laughs> yeah, a loan to uh -huh. pay another loan. Yeah. But um, we need to be real with life. Yeah. Yeah, because. Um, uh, even the, the economy as it is, mm -hmm. uh, tutajifunga sana. True. Tutajifunga sana. So mm -hmm. another challenge was capital base. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, like now moving from Nairobi to Nyeri, mm -hmm. uh, getting people to believe what you are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as I told you, uh, I started with uh, mm -hmm. utensils. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you get something here, something there, yeah. you know, whatever will work or whatever will pick up, yeah. but there's what is burning inside yes. you. There's what you know what passion. exactly you want yes. to do at the end. Yes, at mm -hmm. the end of it. So, yeah. uh, like for me, for me, I would say I have an eye for, for beauty mm -hmm. or for being, you know, I don't, Okay, they are boring spaces and I, I just like to see if I can bring out something out of that boring space. Mm -hmm. You know, make it exciting. Mm -hmm. Light for me right now is doing it. As you it. can see. <laughs> yes, yes. So, all in all, uh, and also believing yourself. Yeah, you have yeah. to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So some mm. of the things that you may mention is mm. what people are going uh, through out there. All right. But what you want to tell you guys is that mm. if you have a problem with business, you're mm. not supposed that you give up. No. So what you're doing right now, mm. um, you mentioned sometime, mm. is the light mm. and designing small spaces mm. and i've seen the places you've designed okay. are so beautiful oh, thank you. we'll be getting some five minutes still before we um, before we come back to more questions okay but yeah. what you're trying to say is that people should go for what they love doing passion is everything right passion is everything mm -hmm. but 
be convicted enough. Mm -hmm. This this is where you belong. This yeah. is, you know, do your research. Mm -hmm. uh, add value to to what you do. Mm -hmm. Add value to what, to you, what do. you do. Yes. All right. Mm. So we'll be getting some five minutes tip. Then we will be right back. We're going to business and all. All right. Yes. So you're just starting up a business and uh, you don't know what to do or you don't know what to do or what to look out for. So for starters, um, uh, get, get to know, get an idea of what you want to start with. Uh, what, what drives you? What are you good at? Are you a hands-on person? Are you good with working with your hands? Are you good with... Um, uh, um, you know, online, you know, when it comes to online, online businesses, uh, internet is cheap nowadays, so those are some of, some of the things to capitalize on. Uh, if it is capital, what do you have? If you're young, if you have an, uh, a savings, I don't know, uh, but uh, uh, you can always, you can always uh, start small. Atakama ni 5K, atakama ni 2K, where do I begin? If it is cooking, baking, you know, cupcakes, uh, you know, those ingredients, how much do they cost? And then also, what's your target market? Who are you intending to reach? Who are you intending to, 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 to believe in your brand? Because uh, you, you are a brand, you are a walking brand. And uh, how, you know, you know, give yourself timelines, give yourself timelines, you know, work with three months, six months, one year, you know, what do I want to do? Because you might begin, you might begin on something, it might not take shape. You don't give up. You look for another factor to add onto what you're doing. If I begin with baking, it, it might not pick up because of the surroundings, you know, look, ar look around, look at the, the, what I mentioned earlier on the client base. Um, another thing is uh, on, dealing, on dealing with customers, because people are different, emotions are different, um, people have different temperaments, but you need their, you, 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 you need them. You need them to grow you, you need them to believe in what you're doing. So learn to control your feelings, especially on ladies. Uh, we tend to be emotional, but when you come to work, get to understand that you are giving a service to this person and you might not see them tomorrow or the day after, but uh, the way you treat them, the, the etiquette you have towards them and treat them well, you will you will attract them back. Because as a business, you, you're you working towards having return customers. They need to keep coming back to you. They need to keep coming back to you. So you also need to work on how to um, help yourself. Or rather, make yourself, if you're an emotional person, if you have anger issues, learn to control, learn to control your emotions. And smile. Smile, it goes a long way to, to keep people, to keep people and to, to just make them ca keep coming back. Um, another, another thing would be to, uh, in terms of whatever industry you are in, you know, get to know, get to learn, get to learn what is car the current trends in what you're doing. Like for example, in lights, like if you look like um, three years back, this what was trending and it, it keeps changing. Technology has just shifted things. Things are, uh, the manufacturers keep uh, creating things every other day. So get to know what, the, uh, what are the current trends in whatever you're, you're working on. If it is, um, if it is, uh, um, I relate with a couple of young people who, who are starting up and um, if it is baking, most of, a, a lot of them get into catering. Um, so if it is baking, what is trending? How can you add value to what you're doing 
so that your customers can can grow so like for Rebecca when she comes in the morning uh, I I pray I believe in the power of prayer I believe to be helped by God and to be guided of God I couldn't be where I am today if I didn't have that upper upper help or that deity help okay so it is good to know that you are not your own <laughs> it is good to understand that you don't have the capacity that you don't have the intelligence it is not enough yes we have education and we have been exposed to different to different things that can add value to us but we need the higher power we need god we need god to help us so I would ad advise you, you know, when, you, when you're starting up, when, with the stream of ideas that you have, commit them to God and he will guide your path. We have been told in scriptures to trust, to trust our ways to the Lord and he will direct our path. So, and I always tell myself, I always tell people who care to listen, with God there is no loss. There is no loss. It might be slow. It might take time. But eventually, you will get a grip of where you need to be or what you need to be doing in this life. And as long as you get to a place where you're, you're being fulfilled with what you do, you'll get that, you, you know, that, inner, that inner peace in whatever you're doing. You know, um, then, then there's... there's, there's um, there's that satisfaction, there's that fulfillment, because um, at times it, it's not about the money. Yes, we need the money, yes. <laughs> and I know because this program, uh, it, it's, it's business, so the money needs to be coming in, but you will get to a point where it's more about the satisfaction you're having from giving services and and that, that inner energy being sat satisfied. I'm Rebecca Wangare, and this is Business Plus. Thank you so much for the tips. I know that you have learned something in you when you because you think it's not going well. That's not the way to go. Can you just tell us um, uh, what are the benefits of being self-employed and like being an employee somewhere? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, number one, uh, there's this satisfaction mm -hmm. of doing what, um, there's a satisfaction you get, mm -hmm. you're working for, for yourself. Yeah. Okay, I don't know whether that's the right thing, but okay. um, you're working with your hands, mm -hmm. you're working and seeing the fruit of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm not saying those who are employed, I yeah. mean, it's not the same yes. thing, but um, you see, waking up every day, mm -hmm. uh, coming to work, mm -hmm. um, getting to meet different people, different suppliers, um, the challenges you get even with suppliers. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, the satisfaction of either getting it mm -hmm. Or, or not, or not. Yeah. and especially if you don't get it, mm -hmm. how do I get it next mm -hmm. time? Or, or what did I do that was wrong? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, what I mentioned earlier about adding value, because mm -hmm. probably it's my communication mm -hmm. skill yeah, that wasn't as per their expectation. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, but how do I work on myself? Mm -hmm. And that, that's the other thing, you know, working on yourself, working growing on yourself. yourself. Yeah. Like, am I headed somewhere? Uh, I've told you, you can come in next year. Yeah. <laughs> or dwindling. Uh. Um, I mean, am I growing into something? Mm -hmm. Am I becoming something? Mm -hmm. what, what, what projections do I have in business? Mm -hmm. um, is it just a nearby vision? Is yeah. it just a regional vision, mm -hmm. national? Mm -hmm. You know, mm, I'm yeah. at a worldwide. So it's all about the, the sky is not the limit, uh -huh. but yeah, you you as far as you can go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's very important for even people who are employed mm. to find something to do out there. 
And I think even the the world we are living in right now, that's mm. the way to go. Yeah, that's yeah, how we are getting are much doing. more. Uh, and I understand there's a lot of technology coming mm. up. Yes, it's simplifying a lot of things, yeah. but yeah, we, we also need to make ourselves relevant. Mm. Yeah, and um, and you know there there are some hindrances, especially upon employment. Mm -hmm. You know, time for yourself. How yeah. do you grow yourself? But again, if you uh, there are people who who do consultancy, mm -hmm. but they are still employed, yeah. and that works for mm -hmm. them. Yeah, but um, uh, like for me, I believe in working with my hands. Mm. I believe in being hands on. Yes. All right. Yes. And now for the small spaces that you've done, mm -hmm. the designing mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. you told me that you did a completely different course. Mm -hmm. How did you learn all <laughs> these? How did I learn? Uh, when I was young, mm -hmm. um, I was in the habit of shifting things, you know, mm -hmm. um, rearranging things. Mm -hmm. um, I, I grew up. I, I grew up in a, a home where I, I don't know if you remember. Uh, we used to have a lot of photos being lined yeah, up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I used to think that was a lot of clutter. Mm -hmm. So my mom used to put them up. Anapata zimetolewa, mm -hmm. moja moja. <laughs> you know, if it's graduation, you know, it's mm -hmm. thematic. Kama ni harusi theme, hapo yes. education mm -hmm. apo. Yeah, but. Um, as I grew, mm -hmm. I also came to learn mm -hmm. internet has a lot of information. Yeah. I didn't go to school for mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of information out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm challenging whoever is getting into business, whatever line of business, you might not have learned in school about it, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of information online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so better yourself, mm -hmm. grow yourself. So online mm -hmm. has been the way. Online is the way. Yeah, all mm. right. And now, how do you make your business known? Because most of the time, lights to Nigeria always is Nguka and Azo. They're very fragile. Mm. So, how do you make your business known? And uh, number one, we have word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot uh, run away from associating with mm -hmm. people. Uh, so, word of mouth. But also, we have online platforms yeah. uh, where. Uh, and that's where a lot of foreign people mm -hmm. uh, we, we get to interact with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we, we a, a lot a lot a lot of us because we are still we are still young in business. Yeah. Um, so word of mouth mouth has uh, worked for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. You must tell people what you do, where yes. your business is, yes. and that's the cheapest and the best way, the to, best do way to do it. Uh -huh. Because you're also Especially in, for people mm, who are just coming up, right? You're coming up. Mm -hmm. And it's good to be in many platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're in church, you're in mm -hmm. chamas, uh -huh. you know, someone tells someone, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, but um, yeah, word of mouth. All right. Mm -hmm. So for the light, mm -hmm. to project on electricity, of course, mm -hmm. and for such, it's mm -hmm. a lot of harm. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to be very cautious mm -hmm. in it, right? Mm -hmm. So what are this? What are some of the precautions mm -hmm. that you take, maybe for someone who would come in and after something happens? I mean, even for you yourself, mm -hmm. many things would happen. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the precautions that you take mm -hmm. with such a business? Um, like for instance, for us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, in fact, if, if you look, if you look at our wall, we yeah. say, please do not touch. Ask yeah. for help. Uh -huh. So we'd rather we take the risks ourselves, mm. uh, because someone might come and, you know, certain rooms like yeah. a rolling lion and <laughs> anything can happen yeah. anywhere. Mm. Yeah, and something wrong can just happen. Mm. So we'd rather uh, handle risks. it, yeah. handle it ourselves. Mm. We know what to do. Mm. We know the precautions that we take, mm -hmm. uh, but of course, um, you know, the basic things, if, if it is at home, mm -hmm. you know, keep you know, steam off, mm -hmm. uh, and then also where children are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, like we have some children coming in here yeah. and they just want to touch ah, everything. everything, yeah, right. but you know, but we just precaution the parents, you know, please. Mm -hmm. 
Chunga tu mtoto kwa sisi. Chunga mtoto. Chunga mtoto. Uh, All right, and how is it working for people at home now with designing the small spaces and making them beautiful and accommodating everything? You have to go into people's houses, to their rooms. How has it been working with different kinds of people? Mm. People are different, mm -hmm. and that's why I always say have an open mind. Mm -hmm. Have an open mind because there are some... Um, there, there are some... Mm -hmm. Who know what they want, mm -hmm. but there are some when you walk in, yeah. they are depending on you yeah, for to everything. Do everything. Yes, so so depending now on whatever the expectations of the client, mm -hmm. so you walk in and you you whoever whoever has an idea of what they want, they share with you. Mm -hmm. Whoever doesn't have an idea, you you give them. Now yeah, you, the you, idea you now you bring out yourself. You ha yeah, you have to just work with what is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, depending, especially with small spaces, depending mm -hmm. on whatever, because also budgets, yeah, <laughs> yeah budgets, um, people work with budgets, mm -hmm. and depending on whatever now they are willing to spend, yeah. uh, you know what to put in, you know what to plug in, and yeah. you know what to pump in, okay. yes. All right, mm -hmm. and for someone who wants to start such a business, mm -hmm. maybe for the designing, all the ideas mm. and everything, mm. what's the kind of capital that you need? Um, the kind of capital? Mm. I would say, really, mm -hmm. say 50 to 100,000 Kenya shillings, mm -hmm. yeah, depending on uh, if, you, if you want to like lease a space, mm -hmm. But again, you can always begin online. Yeah. Yeah, you can always begin online mm -hmm. and propel yourself, or, or rather, grow mm -hmm. to wherever now you want to to go. Okay. Yes. So the different ways of growing yourself. Yes. Say, like, when a lot of money for you to say. No, 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 no. no, no. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe talk to someone when you are in the shara and I feel it's not going the way they want it to go, mm -hmm. and an attacker could give up now, mm -hmm. and I feel in, and I feel this is the end. Okay. What would you tell him on that? Okay, so I would say that uh, start where you are. Mm. Yes, and giving up already, <laughs> already God sent us into this world to accomplish much. Mm -hmm. So with this, this is just a small bit of your greater, greater future, greater mm. purpose. Yeah. So we cannot afford to give up. Mm -hmm. And we have, you know, read books. If you have to read books, mm -hmm. read books, listen to people who, who will mentor you, who will pump positive, positive activity, if mm -hmm. it is positive thinking, if it is positive ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, we cannot go down. We are not going down. Yeah. See, see what we achieve. Uh -huh. Yes. We have to do it. Yes, we must do it. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. We are glad having you. Thank this you. This is the business class. And all thank we do here is make money and get ideas on how to make money. Thank you. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This has been the business class with me, Rachel Kahubu, only on MBCI television. Also, if any one of you na feel nikama business is it for you, ume malizana do umenda chini. That's not the end. Always, we are out here to make money. Till next time, bye-bye.